it went well. Um, I just wanted to approach it with a loose mentality and uh, and do it just like a, nobody's in the gym, you know, when I usually work out. So I just wanted to stay myself and not try to put no type of pressure on myself. It's just another workout with just people watching now. So. I feel like uh, just my explosiveness, that's, when I was getting to the basket, I feel like I was showing them my explosiveness and also my shots. Uh, I feel like I made a lot of my shots mid-range, but really the three-pointer, I feel like I strung something together so they see, you know, okay, this guy, he can shoot, you know, more than people would say I could, you know, because I'm known as a facilitator, playmaker. So um, in this setting, just really trying to make shots and shoot the same shot every single time. And, uh, you know, I can live with the results whether they go in or not, as long as I'm comfortable with my shots. So. Uh, that process, I mean, it was tough, especially going from high school, not being, a, you know, the uh, best player when you step on campus. You know, you got a, three All-Americans with George, Melvin, and DeAndre, and battling with DeAndre Kane every day. He pushed me and pushed me, and uh, once my freshman year was over and I started starting, um, you know, my sophomore year, I took over and down at Ames and everything took care of itself. But I was prepared because those guys pushed me, and uh, that's how it really translated for me. And Coach Fred let me play with an open style of play. game is like old-fashioned man I play at a different pace like I'm slow to fast fast to slow uh, you know I'm not gonna blur you with my speed you know nothing like that I do everything good so it's like I mean I, I don't go in there saying I'm gonna play mistake free it just naturally happens like you know it's games where I feel like I was playing more mistake free and didn't ha and like had turnovers but the games where I was playing loose I, you know I didn't have any turnovers so um, I feel like it just plays in two hands, but honestly, I just go out there and play basketball. I tried to get away from the turnover, known as the turnover guy, but it never got away from me. So, uh, I mean, it stuck with me and got me this far. So, I mean, I guess that's just my identity. I take it, so, yeah. <laughs> I think, uh, I mean, I can compare everything to college, man. Like I said, I was playing 12 minutes, you know, as a freshman until like 18 minutes, I mean 18 games until my freshman season. So I think being, like I was a backup for DeAndre. So, I mean, which knowing, you know, I'll be a backup or maybe the third guy, you know, on the NBA roster as far as the PG position. So, I mean, I, I've been in that position before. So I think now um, I can translate to the next level and just go in and work every day. And I think what I can bring to a team is uh, just hard work, man. Like I'm, I'm a Flint guy and we, it's something different about us, our work ethic, you know, we want to be great, especially you surround me with great guys. You know, I'm going to watch the, the superstar on my team and see how he presents himself every day and, and, and take those habits with me. So I think I can do that and push the guy, you know, that's above me and, and make the organization better. And uh, always on time guy, you know, you got you don't have to worry about me off the court, never have off the court issues. So um, I feel like I can bring that to the organization. Great stuff, man. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Thank you.